everyone. Today, I want to introduce to you all Beth. She's the social media manager at Pugly, and for those who attended Pugly Palooza back in June, uh, you would have said hi to her already because without her, Pugly Palooza wouldn't have been as amazing and large as it was. Uh, she's been helping Pugly since the end of May, and I am just so grateful to have her on board to lift Pugly's weight. Uh, because as the creator of Pugly, I know Pugly's motives and personality and everything, but I'm not great at writing. Uh, this is where Beth comes in because she is just a wizard with words and puns, uh, and she gives Pugly a voice that is truly his own. On top of that, she's been able to answer all your questions in such a timely manner that I personally wouldn't be able to keep up with and also use Pugly's platform to share other creators' rad stuff. So Beth, do you have a little intro for yourself and what do you think of the sketch so far? Oh my god, well, thank you. That was so good. So kind of you. I, I love working with you. She's always so supportive. Uh, also, okay, first of all, I would like to take a look at my picture. It is so cute already. I love it so much. I can see my little heart-shaped glasses coming in, which like are my favorite to wear. So I love it. Um, but yeah, I've been here since. Um, yeah, it's hard to believe the end of May already. Yeah. It's just kind of flown by, and also seems like so much longer because of it just you know <laughs> everything that's going on in the world. But I love being a part. <laughs> I know 2020, right? But I have truly loved being a part of the Pugly team and. Pugly has a real soft spot in my heart and has for like quite a long time, even before I started working here. So uh, I'm just really happy to be here. <laughs> but yeah, um, Beth, what got you interested in your job of social media? So, I mean, my whole, you know, work history all started in customer service. My very first job was a hostess at a restaurant, which is customer service. And um, I ended up working, doing, picking up a part-time gig for a um, video editing company. And they needed some help doing a couple of different um, different campaigns that they were doing. So I just kind of did that part time for them to help out. They were a smaller company, but I really liked it. And um, so it's just kind of where I started doing it. And I, I just really enjoyed kind of combining the customer service aspect, the getting to know people aspect, the creating a community aspect, all of that kind of works together. And that's that's kind of how I got started in it. Ah, I'm so glad to have you on my team. <laughs> Uh, I guess outside of work-related activities, though, uh, what else are you interested in or that you do? Hobbies, projects, whatnot? Um, I am just a huge fan of experiences in general. Like, if you're going to get me a present, I prefer let's go do something as opposed to, you know, give me get me something. So I really like going out and exploring and doing that kind of stuff. But kind of my biggest thing is Disney. So I'm a huge Disney nerd. I have been for a very, very long time. I used to work at Disneyland for a while uh, as a part-time job. And uh, I now I do a podcast with um, three guys that I've known for almost 20 years that I met on a Disney discussion board way back, way back in the, in the dark ages. And we've remained <laughs> friends for all these years. And... Um, I mean, they were in my wedding and we just like have remained friends. And now we do a podcast all about Disney and cocktails because we really like drinking cocktails too. So we drink a cocktail, we talk about Disney. Um, it's called Off Harbor in Maine and um, yeah. But yeah, uh, of course, uh, since now you guys hear how big of a fan Beth is of Disney, that is definitely why I have to sneak in um, these signature mouse ears uh, onto it because <laughs> with all these illustrations, I want to add a little bit of uh, everyone's kind of personality and interest into it to make it really theirs. Um, and the mouse ears were just definitely something that I needed. Uh, is there anything you're looking forward to or are excited about being on the Pugly team? Well, I mean, I've really just kind of enjoyed getting to know all of Pugly's fans. Um, it's just been really, I, I, honestly, the nicest people like Pugly. It, make, it makes perfect sense because Pugly is just so nice in general, but Christmas is coming up, but Christmas is kind of like my thing. Um, you are lucky that I'm not wearing like a Christmas sweatshirt right now. I promised my husband I would wait <laughs> before I break no. out any Christmas things. <laughs> so I'm just excited to, you know, see what Pugly does around Christmas time and just the holidays in general. Um, just, you know, just to kind of get in that spirit. So I'm excited to experience that with him. Uh, I, 
I, I can't put into words just how thankful I am to have Beth on board. Uh, this is me speaking to you guys, my fans, um, because she's able to give so much personality to Pugly, and I, I hope that you guys cherish her, uh, either her specifically or her through Pugly, um, and that you guys don't feel any less disconnected from me because I am still here, of course. Uh, the, uh, Beth and I work very closely yeah, I love, I mean, honestly, I love it. And I feel that being able to just, you know, chat with you all the time really helps, you know, it because it is kind of like, it, I mean, it definitely is. It's a partnership. And I mean, I could not give Pugly any sort of voice without you because you're really the guiding light. And, and so being able to keep in touch with you and having such an open, um, you know, chatting system to chat with each other all the time. Uh, I feel like really, I mean, it's, it's, we're really getting the best of both worlds. I'm just very adamant about giving credit where credit is due. So again, Beth coming out with all these genius ideas, these ways of wording things like black magic. I, I <laughs> always have to give credit to Beth and I hope all, all you guys, fans, audiences, passerbys, um, no matter how you found Pugly, you guys enjoy all that is uh, that Beth and I are working together to convey him, I guess. <laughs> and uh, I guess the last question, any really sweet, endearing, or neat interactions or moments that you've experienced uh, in your time with Pugly? Oh, there's like so many, it's really honestly hard to narrow it down. But when we did the Pugly World Tour, uh, we asked mm -hmm. um, people to take photos of either their Pugly or, or, or the flat Pugly that they could print out and kind of show him around their area and around the world. And uh, it was really a neat experience to see uh, how see people interact with Pugly directly. I mean, not that I was there face to face, but and to see people take him literally around the world. And it was so cool to see those pictures. And I got to talk with, uh, you know, sometimes people would have questions and we'd chat with them and they would tell me about what they were gonna do with Pugly. And it was such a cool way to, to actually see the interactions and see people have fun with Pugly. So, I mean, that's been one of my favorite things so far, just because it was such a personal level. Um, and we really got to take a little peek into people's lives and, and see how much they love Pugly in their own personal lives. So I really enjoyed doing that. It was really, really a fun way to to connect with people so thank you guys who participated and posted pictures and sent pictures it was it was honestly it was such a fun thing for me to see through your eyes so thank you yeah uh i guess to wrap things up beth uh where can my fans find you if they're more if they're interested in more disney things or just maybe chatting with you not via pugly or whatnot yeah. that you want to share yeah, if you guys want to find me, if you want to see posts about Disney or um, my cats or my kid, <laughs> um, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram <laughs> at Pixie Dust Vibes. It's the um, same on both, Pixie Dust Vibes. Um, you can come find me. You can come find the podcast at Off Harbor in Maine. It's on any place that you listen to a podcast if you guys want to talk about cocktails and Disney. Beth, thank you so much for joining me on this Pugly journey. I hope you will be here for as as long as I'm here. Oh, fingers crossed. But um, <laughs> yeah. and thank you for giving Pugly so much life that I I honestly cannot imagine uh, just giving enough air for him to fart out as much as he does now. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you. I mean, honestly, thank you for your confidence and your encouragement always. And uh, truly, truly, uh, always a pleasure to work with you, Huge. Like, I, I love it. So I'm happy to stick around as long as you'll have me. <laughs> Yay. Oh, fantastic. All right. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed this little video. Hope you guys enjoyed meeting Beth. And enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Thank you, guys.